Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss how to apply header dynamically to a data frame. So before entering into the main session, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So this is the problem statement. So think of like one CSV file is there without a header. So you need to read this CSV file as a data frame and then apply the header dynamically. That is the header shouldn't be hard coded in the code and the output of the data frame should contain the data along with header. Like usually in production and all, you sometimes they, they might change the header names, some new columns will be added, some will be removed. So in such cases, you shouldn't touch the code and the, uh, the properties file should take care of all such kind of additions. So for that purpose, today we will see how to read the header dynamically. So this is the sample file I'm taking. Uh, this I have downloaded it from internet. And if you see this uh, file doesn't have any header and what is the header of that about data is customer number, card type, date, category, transaction type and the amount. So now we will see how to uh, work on uh, use. Let's write the code in Spark SQL using Scala in Scala IDE. So we will see how can we achieve this problem statement. So uh, in Eclipse, I'm creating a new Scala object. I'll just name it dynamic header or something like this. Arc dot Apache Spark SQL Spark session. I'm writing the main method. creating sparks session so i'm using cluster mode here and i'm creating the session so next we will read uh, and as I showed here we have this sample file one uh, one CSV file with this data and another file I am creating like we usually in production we create it as a property file. So here I am taking that as a header uh, text file. Uh, it doesn't matter actually. So I am just taking I am reading all the lines from that uh, header file. So I am using Scala IO source here. So let me import that as well. So actually the same can be implemented using buffer reader, input the file reader or any other method as well. But today we will see how to do it with the Scala.io.source. We will use from file option. and we say get the lines. So this will give you all the lines present in the file that you are send, you are using. So here we have only the header with the comma delimited uh, one single line. So next is you have to get the columns out of it. So what you have to do, you have to do take the lines and use the flat map in the flat map we have to split it with the comma then it will become like a list and then okay, I will not add anything here I will explain you why we have to add something there then we have to create a data frame spark.read.csv and here I am giving that file name uh, what is the file whatever csv file we have to read as a data frame and then i will create another 
call name df something like that where we if you see it doesn't have header usually we have to apply it using 2df method and we usually hard code it so now we don't want to hard code anything and we have these columns here in this columns uh, variable so we will apply that here so for that what we have to do is use df and we have a method called 2df so usually here we will hard code now instead of that we will just do like this so what will happen is it will take from columns it's see if you see here it, it will show some error like whatever you are sending it should be a sequence so it will whatever you are passing in the 2df it will expect a two sequence that's why here we have to use this if you see now it has accepted so now let's print this let me run as a scala application so you can see that customer data frame is created along with the header and if at all you you wanted to uh, show it using a select then you can always use this as well dot select and you give star so no need to hard code at all then again click on show see you can see here right so the same we have selected all the columns from here and if you wanted to select only particular column without hard coding then you can use map using map you can fetch the required column so th that's all for today friends we we have read a data frame and we have applied the header dynamically hope this was helpful for you and thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting queries thank you